Hi, these comments are for uh, Norell, and I am Michael Buckoff, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the TOEFL online course, The Seven Step System to Pass a TOEFL IBT. And in your situation, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at what you wrote. Okay, so you say. Good afternoon, Michael. I'm writing to you because I've taken the TOEFL exam twice. My first score was 21 and my second score was 46. And first of all, congratulations. You are making very good improvements. So you started off with more or less basic English proficiency and you're now, you doubled your score from the first time to the second time. You said, I'm registered for the third time on the 19th of April, 2014. Uh, I see that you're offering a 30-day study guide to pass the TOEFL exam. Your question is, would this study guide assist me to pass the TOEFL exam with at least 70 points? I'm going to say no, probably not. Uh, in, this is just my opinion. Uh, probably 30 days is not enough time to go from 46 to 70. So you're looking at about 24 points, right? So I would recommend that you're probably looking at anywhere from two to five months that it will take you to reach your goal. So my, my recommendation for you would be my 90-day TOEFL study guide. That's probably the most appropriate study guide based on your current English language uh, proficiency. So I got three recommendations for you now. I'm going to recommend three basic things that you can do um, between now and three months from now. And then maybe at the three-month mark, if you like, you can take one of my full-length IBT practice tests so you can mark your progress to determine if you are ready to take the official TOEFL exam. Okay, here are my three suggestions. Number one, stay in the habit or get in the habit if you're not doing this. You want to start reading every day for about 45 to 60 minutes. You can read magazines, newspapers, and longer books. I think this is very, very important for you, even at this point. Don't worry as much about the words you don't know. Just try to understand the basic ideas in those reading passages. Number two, you want to get in the habit of also practicing uh, listening. Now, if you have a TV like English TV, you can watch programs that focus on news, history, documentary and science programs, especially science programs. That's going to be very, very useful for you right now. Now, as you're doing your reading and your listening practice, get in the habit of note taking. It's not going to be easy in the beginning and you'll have a tough time doing it, but you want to practice taking notes on the main points and the most important supporting points of those reading and listening passages. And then using your notes you can either orally summarize those reading and listening passages. That means you speak about what you just read. You speak about what you've just listened to. And you can also use your notes to write a summary. Now, if you're practicing your writing skills, you can write maybe 150 to a 250 word summary of the reading passage or of the listening passage. And that's also going to help you. So if, if you do those first two suggestions, Norell, you're practicing your reading, of course. You're practicing your listening. You're also practicing your note-taking. And then you're practicing your integrated speaking and integrated writing proficiencies. That's all going to be useful in terms of helping you build your academic English language proficiency. Now, my third suggestion, remember, I'm telling you to do some reading and listening practice. The third suggestion is to go through the lessons in my 90-day TOEFL study course with a heavy emphasis on the vocabulary lessons. My 90-day study guide will help you master 1,700 college-level words. This is why I think probably 30 days is not enough time for you because it's going to take you longer than 30 days to learn these words. But once you learn these words and you can use them, 
your reading becomes better, your listening is better, your writing and your reading, everything will become better. Now, the other issue that you're doing with is your speaking and your pronunciation proficiency, and most likely you also have some language use or some pronunciation problems that you're trying to solve, and that also takes time to work through some of those things. So what do you do? I'd recommend about two hours a day going through the lessons in my 90-day TOEFL study guide and also doing the reading and the listening practice. So that's an hour and a half plus two. Now you're doing about 3.5 hours every day over the next 90 days working on building your academic English language proficiency. Now, what you can do is, is you can check your progress. Once you've done a lot of study, you feel like you're improving, you can take one of my online full-length IBT practice tests. It takes four and a half hours, and you can take one of those practice tests to mark your progress. I will make sure all six of your speaking tasks will be scored, both of your writing tasks will be scored, and you'll get scores on the reading and the listening areas so that you can get a, an accurate score to mark your progress. Then you can make a decision about whether or not you want to take the official TOEFL exam. All right, so those are probably my suggestions, and uh, I apologize for being honest, but but to be honest with you, to go from 46 to 70 is probably not very likely in 30 days. Uh, I teach about 2,000 students a month uh, at my website, and I've been teaching online now for about three or four years. And um, a lot of my students will tell me before, they tell me what their TOEFL test was before they used my course. Then, then they tell me what their TOEFL score is after they take the TOEFL, and they'll let me know how much time it takes them. And most of my students, they're averaging around 5 to 10 points each month that they study TOEFL. Remember that it's hard work. You have to be patient. But you can get results. You will get results if you're patient. All right, anyway, thank you very much, Narelle, and uh, all the best to your high-scoring TOEFL success.